Okay, to continue our discussion, for the mean and standard deviation of binomial probability distributions, we are going to use this formulas. We have there mu is equal to NP and sigma is equal to the square root of NPQ, where N is the number of trials, P is the probability of success, Q is the probability of failure. Okay, so for uh, example, let us solve for this problem. On any given day, the probability that the entire Watson family eats dinner together is 2 over 5. Find the probability that during any 7-day period, the Watsons eat dinner together at least 6 times. Okay? So for our, our N, we have there 7. Our P is 2 over 5 or 0 0.4. And then Q is equal to 0 0.6. Okay? So we need to compute 4. The probability of R is greater than or equal to 6. And that is probability of 6 plus the probability of 7, which is equal to, we have 7C6 times 0.4 raised to 6 times 0.6 raised to 1 plus 7C7 times 0.4 raised to 7 times 0.6 raised to 0. So we have here, we have 0 0.017 plus 1.638 times 10 to the negative 3. And that is equal to 0 0.0186. Okay? Then, let us compute for the mean. So again, mu is equal to NP, which is equal to 7 times P is 0 0.4. And that is equal to 7 times 0.4. We have 2.8 and our standard deviation is equal to the square root of NPQ, which is equal to the square root of 7 times 0.4 times 0.6. That gives us, we have 1.2961, okay? So this is for our standard deviation, our mean, okay? Then, next is the geometric and Poisson distribution. Okay, for the geometric probability distribution, we have here P of N is equal to P times 1 minus P raised to N minus 1. Okay? So the difference between geometric and binomial is geometric. In geometric, we are after at what trial will be our first success. Okay? So here, we are after the trial. Okay, so here we have here the probability of success. And this one, of course, this is Q. That is the probability of failure. Okay? So, for our example problem, an automobile assembly plant produces sheet metal door panels. Each panel moves on an assembly line. As the panel passes a robot, a mechanical arm will perform spot welding at different locations. Each location has a magnetic dot painted where the weld is to be made. The robot is programmed to locate the magnetic dot and perform the weld. However, experience shows that on each trial, the robot is only 85% success successful at locating the dot. If it cannot locate the magnetic dot, it is programmed to try again. The robot will keep on trying until it finds the dot and does the weld or the panel door passes out of the robot's reach. So, in our problem, the probability of success is we have 0 0.85. Okay? So, what is the probability that the robot's first success will be on attempts 1, 2, or 3? So, here, we need to compute for the probability of n is equal to 1, the probability of n is equal to 2, and the probability of n is equal to Three. So we have there, P of N is equal to 1 is equal to P that is 0 0.85 times 1 minus P that is 0 0.15 raised to N minus 1. That's 1 minus 1. We have 0. And this is 0 0.85. So for P of N is equal to 2, we have there 0 0.85 times 0 0.15 raised to 1 that is equal to We have 0 0.1275. For P of N is equal to 3, we have there 0 0.85 raised, uh, times 0 0.15 raised to 
2 that is equal to we have a 0 0.0191 okay so let us add this we have there Okay, that is 0 0.9966. That is the probability that the robots, that the robot will be successful on attempts 1, 2, or 3. Okay, so what is the, okay, the, the assembly line moves so fast that the robot has only a maximum of 3 chances before the door panel is out of reach. What is the probability that the robot will be successful before the door panel is out of reach? That's the probability of success is? this one 0.9966 okay so what is the probability that the robot will not be able to locate the correct spot within three tries so that means we are after or we need to compute for the probability of failure if 10,000 panels are made what is the expected number of defectives so we have there the probability of failure is equal to 1 minus the probability of success we have your q is equal to 1 minus P that is equal to 1 minus 0 0.9966 which is equal to 0 0.0034 and then we need to compute for the number of defective so that is mu is equal to nq that is equal to 10,000 times 0 0.0034 it gives us how many number of defectives 34 okay So, another problem or another example. We have here, Susan is taking Western Civilization this semester on a pass-fail basis. The department teaching the course has a history of passing 77% of the students in Western Civilization each term. Let N is equal to 1, 2, 3, and so on represent the number of times a student takes Western Civilization until the first passing grade is received. Assume trials are independent. What is the probability that Susan passes on the first try, on the second try? And what is the probability that Susan needs three or more tries to pass the Western civilization? So here, the probability of passing is 77%. So the probability of failing is 0 0.23. If P is equal to 0 0.77, Q is equal to 0 0.23. So let us compute 4, n is equal to 1. So P of n is equal to 1. Or the first try, we have there 0 0.77 times 0 0.23 raised to 0. That is 0 0.77. For the second try, we have P of n is equal to 2. That is equal to 0 0.77 times 0 0.23 raised to 1. And that is equal to? We have 0 0.1771. Okay. So the next question, what is the probability that C Susan needs three or more tries to, pe to pass the Western civilization? Okay. So how many? Okay. We do not know. So we have here P of N is greater than or equal to three is equal to. Okay. What is the totality of the probability? The totality, we have one minus the probability of what? Probability of n is less than 3 and that is 1 minus we have p of p of 1 and or plus p of 2 okay and that is equal to 1 minus 0 0.77 plus 0 0.1771 and that is equal to what we have We have there, okay, 0 0.0529, okay? <clears throat> Next is the Poisson distribution, okay? So this is, again, after probability of R success out of N trials, okay? The difference is this one is for events that is not repeated under identical condition, unlike the binomial distribution, here we have lambda. Lambda is the mean number of success over time, volume, area, and so forth. Okay? So, 
this is the formula that we are going to use. We have their P of R is equal to E to the negative lambda times lambda to the R over R factorial. Where our E is equal to 2.7183. This is a constant. Okay? For our example problem, Pyramid Lake in, is located in Nevada on the Piet Indian Reservation. The lake is described as a lovely jewel in a beautiful desert setting. In addition to its natural beauty, the lake contains some of the world's largest cattle trout. 8 to, 10, uh, 8 to 10 pound trout are not uncommon and 12 to 15 pound trophies are taken each season. The Piute Nation uses highly trained fish biologists to study and maintain this famous fishery. In one of their publications, the Krill Chronicle, Volume 3, Number 2, the following information was given about the November catch for both fishermen. Okay? So the total fish per hour is 0 0.667. So suppose you decide to fish Pyramid Lake for 7 hours during the month of November. Find the probability distribution for R, the number of fish of all sizes you catch in a period of 7 hours. So here, our lambda is equal to 0 0.667, okay, that's the total fish per hour, times 7 hours of fishing. And that gives us 4.7. This will be our lambda. So what is the probability that in 7 hours you will get 0, 1, 2, or 3 fish of any size? So let us compute for the probability of R is equal to 0. That is equal to 2.7183 raised to negative 4.7 times 4.7 raised to 0 over 0 factorial. That is equal to, we have negative 4.7 times 4.7 raised to 0 over 0 factorial. We have there 9.095 times 10 to the negative 3. For P of R is equal to 1. That is equal to 2.7183 raised to negative 4.7 times 4.7 raised to 1 over 1 factorial. That is equal to 0 0.04275 P of R is equal to 2 that is equal to 2.7183 raised to negative 4.7 times 4.7 raised to 2 over 2 factorial that is equal to 0.04275 5 okay then for p of r is equal to 3 that is equal to we have here 3 that is 0 0.1574 okay so uh we need to add okay so we have here uh-huh Okay. Okay, so we have here the probability of R is equal to 0, 1, 2, or 3 fish. Okay, that is equal to 0 0.3097. Okay, so what is the probability that you will get 4 or more fish? Okay, that is. The probability of R is greater than or equal to 4 is equal to 1 minus the probability of R is less than 4. And that is 0, 1, 2, or 3. And that is equal to 1 minus, we have 0 0.3097. That is equal to 0 0.6903. Okay? That is, that's it. Then, another example. The average number of homes sold by Acme Realty Company is two homes per day. What is the probability that exactly three homes will be sold tomorrow? Okay? So, here, our lambda is what? Two homes per day. So, that will be our lambda. 
Okay? So, we have here P of R is equal to 3. That is equal to, we have 2.7183 raised to negative 2 times 2 raised to 3 over 3 factorial. Okay? We have negative 2 times 2 raised to 3 over 3 factorial. We have there 0 0.1804. Okay? Mm -hmm. Then, another example. Okay, a life insurance salesman sells on three life insurance policies per week. Use the Poisson's Law to... Uh, uh, calculate the probability that in a given week he will sell some policies two or more policies but less than five policies assuming that there are five working days per week what is the probability that in a given week he will sell some uh, sell one policy so here we have our lambda is three okay that is our lambda so, in selling some policies, what is the probability of selling some policies? Of course, that is 1 minus the probability of selling no policies at all. That is probability of 0. And that is 1 minus. What is the probability of R is equal to 0? We have 2.7183 raised to negative 3 times 3 raised to 0 over 0 factorial. And that is 1 minus... We have 2.7183 raised to negative 3 times 3 raised to 0 over 0 factorial. We have there, okay? zero point ninety five zero two okay what about selling two or more but less than five so two or more is two three and four so that is probability of two is less than or equal to r is less than or equal to four that is p of two plus p of three plus p of four okay that is equal to we have for probability of two we have Mm -hmm. times 3 raised to 2 we have here okay, 0 0.224 plus 0 0.224 plus zero point one six eight we have that is equal to zero point sixty one six okay then assuming that there are five working days per week what is the probability that in a given day okay he will sell one policy so let us compute for the new lambda that is three over five and that is zero point six okay so we have p of r is equal to one is equal to 2.7183 raised to negative zero point six times zero point six raised to one over one factorial we have there we have mm -hmm. 0 0.1804 okay 